Hello and welcome back to Minecraft and Survival. In this episode, we are going to be doing some exciting stuff because in the last episode we set up a infu infus infu infusion area, infusement area. It, it, you know what I mean. As well as a new enchantment, enchantment room, and in general, our base got a huge makeover right here. And I must say, I really love the upgrade. I did do one thing off camera and that was organizing this chest room, so now things are a little bit more organized and to my liking. I still need to move this composter and I still, I think, need to uh, basically replace these chests with the purple ones. In fact, I might do that really quickly. And also these chests right here. But yeah, anyways, today we will be doing some infusion as well as enchanting, which I'm very, very excited for. But first... Yeah, I, th I think I gotta upgrade these chests real quick. And in my wooden stuff, I should have some Tenanea chests. And I'm also gonna take some Tenanea barrels, because it doesn't actually look like that I have that much, um, well, Tenanea wood anymore. So I'm actually gonna take this, and I'm gonna put down the composter right here, I think, together with... Let's do a barrel. Um... And now this chest I will save for last. This is our fireworks chest, so I'm gonna put a barrel there instead. And since this chest is empty, I think I think I'm gonna revamp this as well because I don't think I'm happy with how it is. I'm actually gonna take this barrel away and I'm gonna put a barrel right here. And that is gonna be with stuff that can be smelted or cooked. And then I'm gonna put, and this barrel is basically, I'm gonna move that again, basically, like I said, our fireworks stuff. I'll put the pedestals back, but I feel like it's not necessary, maybe? I don't know. Then what I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna take this brewing stand, actually. I'm gonna take a slab and put it right there and then put the brewing stand, actually, maybe I should move the slab. Oh, it, it can't just put that. Yeah, there we go. And I think this got to be moved a little bit as well. I'm going to go ahead and actually just take the whole chest. And I'm going to place down another double chest. I'm going to put in all the valuable stuff, except for the phantom membrane. Now, I can't really make item frames or whatnot. But what I can make is, well, pedestals. So I think we kind of got to use them to our advantage and I think I will actually put a barrel under the brewing stand because then we can actually move the potions here into this barrel right there. I think that makes a little bit more sense. And I think I'm going to put the firework right there on the pedestal kind of to indicate that this is our firework crafting area. And I think because I used the hammer so much I think I'm going to put it on a pedestal right there. I'll save my terminite smith hammer for when I really need it. I'm gonna put the phantom membrane into the mob drop chest. And finally, the end crystal, I think, will be in the valuables just because it is quite valuable to us. And there we go, I think that works for now. I think that's an upgrade. Another issue we have is, yeah, my food situation. So I think the very first thing that we need to do is try and enchant something, which of course requires us, actually, I'm gonna start taking away some of these things on the side here. We've been looking at those for long enough. We need lapis in order to enchant, and to make it we need aurora crystal shards as well as raw amber. But another thing that I want to make is this, the respawn obelisk. Now the respawn obelisk is actually quite expensive. We need eternal crystals, which requires an, another end crystal, which requires an end crystal, sorry, uh, which we do have. And we also already have one eternal crystal, I believe, so we can actually make this right here. Um, Aurora Crystal, we should be able to get that, yep, easily. Now the Amber Blocks, we need three Amber Blocks. Per Amber Block you need one, uh, four Amber Gems, and per Amber Gem you need raw Amber. And how much Amber do we have? We have 22, so that would be four Crystals, so we have basically one Amber Block. We really need a lot more Amber. So really we're gonna benefit, I think, from enchanting first and I say this because if we can get either silk touch or fortune which I don't think we already have we actually have a fortune 2 pickaxe right here as well as a fortune 1 and a mending we might actually be able to make some combinations right here we have a fortune 2 this is a combination right here that is potentially doable but that is unfortunately the fortune that we have so if I do go out amber hunting Getting fortune is definitely a thing we need. Speaking of which, actually, we do have a lot of sulfur and everything. Uh, what do we need to make gunpowder again? I forgot. Uh, gunpowder. Bone meal. Bone meal. Bone meal. 
Right, I'm gonna go down to our farm real quick and see if there's anything ready for harvest. And by anything ready for harvest, I of course mean, uh, not you. We still need to revamp this farming area, but today I really want to focus on enchanting and doing infusion stuff. So I think we'll be expanding the farm in the next episode. Excuse me, sir, what are you doing here? <laughs> well, I guess as long as you don't steal stuff, I think, I, I guess it's all right. And unfortunately, I can't put these end lily leaves or the seed inside this thing. So that's a huge, a huge bummer. Yep, this is why we need another food source. Right, I'm not going to waste any more time. I think a priority is to get to enchanting some stuff. So I need three lapis lazuli, which means I need three raw amber, which is a lot. So it's quite expensive. And we need these uh, aurora crystal shards. So... Yeah, we need to do some infusions. So the question is, what is the recipe for this? So, raw amber in the middle and then aurora crystal shards uh, on the side. So, if I put this here and then put this. Oh, something's happening. Okay. Waiting. I don't uh, Do I need to click anything? I don't know if I need to click anything or if I need to wait. Do I need to do something? Punch it? Maybe? Um, I think I just leave it and wait because I, I think it will just happen whenever it's ready. Oh, there it goes! We have a Lapis Lazuli. So if I do that three more times, that actually took quite a while, but that's fine. So when I have three Lapis Lazuli, in fact, while we're waiting for that, I can't, unfortunately, unfortunately I can't make a grindstone. Um, what kinds of pickaxes can I make? I can actually make a few different ones. Maybe we want something that is not diamond. So we have Eternium, which we're not going to make right now. Uh, we do have Terminite pickaxe, which 5 attack damage, 1.2 attack speed. Looks as to be the same as the diamond. I think we can make that. I think we can actually make that. I think... I think we will make a Terminite Pickaxe, guys, just to make something a little bit different that's not just Diamond. So I think a Terminite Pickaxe is definitely something we will make. I'm going to wait for this last Lapis Lazuli here, and we're going to make a Terminite Pickaxe. Though there will be one disadvantage, and that is that I don't have access to a grindstone, so I will not be able to grindstone it. Uh, meaning that I won't be able to remove the enchantment. I won't be able to do much with it other than get the enchantment from the enchantment table. There we go. Three Lapis Lazuli, which is exactly what we needed. We do need this Terminite for other stuff as well, but we can actually make it pretty easily, so it's not too big of a deal. So if I take three ingots, and I take my hammer, and I go ahead... Oh, do I need? I think... I think I might need my Terminite Smith Hammer. I mean, it would make sense. Aha! Terminite Axe Head, Terminite Forged Plate, Hoe, Terminite Pigaxe Head. Awesome. All right, you know what? The Terminite Smith Hammer is in place. And then I should be able to just combine those two and get a Terminite Pigaxe. Just like that. How's it looking? It's looking pretty cool. It's looking cooler than the diamond pickaxe. All right, sweet. So what will now happen if we take this into the enchantment table? Eh. Unbreaking three. That that is a huge, huge risk because I don't know what that entails. I don't know if that means I will get something else as well. And this Lapis Lazuli is very, very well. Not not often we get it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm a bit scared of doing this. Uh, this is a tough choice right here. I could just make a diamond pickaxe and hope for the best, but I think I will have to make this terminite, terminite pickaxe right here and then hope for the best. This is going to be a lot of lapis and a lot of... A um, lot of... What's it called again? A lot of raw amber. I really actually don't know if this is worth it. Books. Books. I need books. I have plenty of books. I can enchant books because then whatever I get... Right. Okay, so if I just do level 1 things, I'm only consuming one Lapis Lazuli at a time and I might be able to get something new. I think I'm gonna do that. 
I think I'm gonna do that because then this will update and maybe potentially I'll be able to get something like Silk Touch or something along those lines. This does mean that I will be, first of all, I need to actually be careful because there's one thing I didn't realize and that is my levels. I need possible, I don't need a level 30 enchantment in order to get Silk Touch, but it's kind of important. Do I just risk it and go with it? I it's it's very risky. I could easily get Silk Touch of Fortune with that, but again, it's not a guarantee that I'll get anything other than the efficiency four. Right. I think I'm just gonna have to risk it for the biscuit, and if it doesn't work, then I guess we will just have to keep trying. <laughs> because now I am down to 29 and a half levels. I'm gonna have to get it up to 30 and that is gonna be annoying to keep doing. So, so yeah, I think I'm gonna risk it. If we don't get it at level 30, we will just have to save up for another level 30 and um, hope for the best, I guess, and get more Terminite. I don't think there's much else to do. One very nice for once though, nice thing about these slimes is that they actually give quite a good amount of XP. So, well, there we go. Third levels, right? I think I'm gonna have to do this. I could potentially, actually, one thing I could do is I could try and block some of these to, to lower the enchantment level to see if I could potentially get Silk Touch at a lower level. But it doesn't seem like I can. Right, efficiency four. This could either be very good or very bad. No. Ah, uh, dang it. It didn't have Silk Touch. Didn't have Silk Touch. Pretty much the same as the one I already had. But I guess on the plus side, we now have a very cool, um, <laughs> very cool pickaxe. It's not a bad pickaxe. I will say that. It's not a bad one. Well, it is what it is. We can't really do much other than that. I think it's a bit unfair. We can't really make a grindstone because we have this flavor light, which is used to make the stone tool so it acts like stone so i think i might expand my data pack so, so that we can actually make um grindstone so i'll keep that in mind i will update the mod pack and the data pack for the next episode but anyways we are not done because that is not the only thing that i wanted to do because we here have some very cool looking armor this right here the crystallite armor i have mentioned it before and i think it is definitely something that is going to be worth making. And we actually have just enough raw amber to be able to make all of this armor right here. I also would really want the elytra crystallite, but I don't have... Actually, do I? I do have membrane. I do have six phantom membrane. How do we make the enchanted membrane? Like that. Okay, that's easy enough. So I could make this. I'm just missing three other uh, amber gems. Sorry, three more raw amber. But that should be doable. But let's start somewhere. So first, we need to make the actual Terminite armor. And for that, we need Terminite Forge Plate, which is made in the anvil using a hammer and Terminite. So we actually don't quite have enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Uh, yeah, let's do, let's do five. I'm going to take five ender shots right here. I'm going to grab my hammer. I'm going to put this in here to make... Oh dear me. I'm gonna make the ender dust and then in here I should be able to combine that and right I don't remember what you use as fuel if I remember correctly it is blocks of coal or charcoal so I'll put that in there and that is, it should smell down to terminite but what I can then do is I can take all my terminite here and I can put it in here and what we need is this terminite's fault plate and there goes the anvil. <laughs> Okay, I do have another anvil right here that should be able to do the trick. No. Oh no, wait a minute. Oh dear. Oh no, do I need a, do I really need a terminite? Right, I can use a thalassium, thalassium anvil with a terminite block. Okay, that is a lot less expensive, but that does mean I need, <laughs> I need a lot more terminite made up here. All right, so with that, I am gonna have to make a terminite block and then I can make a thalassium anvil. So that's a thalassium anvil right there. And then combine that with a terminite block and we have a terminite anvil. 
Minecraft Vanilla Anvil, goodbye. I think actually I will take the Vanilla Anvil because what it seems like is if I remove this and remove you, basically I will use the normal Minecraft Anvil for things like Ender Powder and stuff like that. And then I will use the Terminite Anvil for stuff that I really need the Terminite Anvil for. But we can now continue. So I need five in total just for the helmet. And so with this, I can now go to the crafting table and I can make the Terminite Helmet. Now, with the Terminite Helmet, I can now combine that with the Crystallites as well as the Amber. Though we gotta make the raw and turn the raw Amber into Amber Gems, four of them. Now we should be able to combine all of this in here. So this in the middle, this on the top, and these on the sides. Yeah, north, right, south, whoops. Direction is important and there we go. The amber gem and the crystals are being infused with the helmet and there we go. The crystallite helmet. This is pretty awesome. I'm not gonna equip it right now. I want to have the full set before doing so. Now we just need to go ahead and do that with the rest of the armor as well. So that is then... eight plates in order to make the chest plate like so terminite chest plate and i i think it is the same pattern on the infused bit stuff so amber gem crystallite terminite no oh it's not the same hold up i think it is like this aha and it all gets infused together to make the crystallite chest plate. Look at that. Effect dig speed one. That is really cool. And that slime though. Okay, yep. Mud pack is definitely getting an update for the next episode. Hey buddy. I really need silk touch for my food. Oh yeah, I completely forgot in the last episode I asked you guys for name suggestions for the dragonfly here. Because we are in fact I think I think we're gonna keep him. Um, and the name I have chosen from the comments is Gerald. <laughs> I, I just think it fits very nicely. So I just want to say thank you all of you who came with name suggestions. I chose Gerald, so thank you, Duck Dude, for that. And if you're one of those whose name didn't get chosen, just know that I did read through them all and I actually really liked all of them. Um, so yeah, maybe you'll have a chance of naming something else in the future. The Terminate Anvil really looks like it's gonna break any moment. I don't like it. Uh, right, next thing we are gonna make are the leggings. It really does break instantly, doesn't it? Wow. Um, do I even have enough materials to do this? I need another Terminite block and another... I don't have enough Thalassium. Guys, I don't have enough Thalassium for this. I don't have enough of anything, really. Um, wow. I can, I can make, I can't even make two Thalassium blocks. Right. This is an issue. And I do not have enough fireworks in order to go out properly and do stuff. All right, guys, I have been doing some thinking and I have been doing some planning. I'm currently just cooking up some end fish that I catched in the uh, in the in the pond over there. Excuse me. Wait, where did we? Hey, buddy. Um. Hi. <laughs> uh, Gerald Jr. Or something, I guess he must have come in from the outside. Anyways, that is completely off topic. Gerald is over there. Uh, I don't know what he's doing, but well, we got a second guy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I have been doing a lot of thinking and some planning and actually quite a few things has happened since the last clip you saw. First, I have, firstly, I have updated the mod pack. Uh, Better End Mod had updated uh, as well as a few other things. So that is now updated. And I also went ahead and updated my data pack for the series, which now allows us to use Flavor Light uh, in order to make grindstones. I just think that it is only fair that we can use something like this to make 
uh, grindstone as the flavor light is used basically for making stone tools as well as furnaces. If you have any other suggestions, do let me know down below in the comments on what the recipe for the grindstone could be if you think there's another stone source that is more suitable. But that's the one I have chosen for now. But that is not the only change. I have actually added another mod. One called Enderscape. I actually just saw about this mod because uh, Better End actually added compatibility with it. Um, so this mod basically adds, I think, one, two, two. I think it adds two new mobs. They are up here actually. Plus they're adding two new ores and they're also adding another biome. So I thought, you know what, let's add it. And actually one of the creatures, I believe this rubble mite right here, the rubble mite actually has a chance of dropping bone meal when killed. Um, has a chance anyway, so it's not every time. So yeah, this stuff looks very interesting. So I think what we need to do, right? So far we have made two pieces of the crystallite armor and I think that is better than nothing. I think I'm going to call this an episode here and then in the next episode, I want to go out and explore. I want to go out and explore, especially down here in this direction. We have ender pearls. Uh, I could maybe take the elytra with us so we can jump from higher places. I can take the one uh, firework that we have and I could even uh, with me grab some paper and sulfur and charcoal in case we maybe stumble upon uh, some of these rumble mites and get some bone meal. I've also made a bunch of shears. I might even make more. Uh, that way I can grab any like grass we find and we might be able to convert that into bone meal as well when we get back home. I also have two uh, shulker boxes right here ready to go. So I think in the next episode, like I said, we will be going out doing some exploration because we have, after all, in the last couple of episodes, spent a lot of time here at the base. Bi oh no. We have spent a lot of time expanding the base, building farms and whatnot, so I think it is time to go out and explore again. Plus, I believe Better End has added even more stuff in the world of maybe biomes? New biomes? I don't know if they added new biomes, but maybe other stuff? Who knows? I guess we'll find out. But before we end it, I mean, I have to. I have to say, oh yes. <laughs> this is looking insane. Look at this. My eyes kind of look insane, but with this arm on, but you know what? That's fine. And we have haste one uh, from the effect of the chest plate right here. And I just realized this actually, if you look at it above the better end uh, tag down there, set bonus regeneration one. So when we have the full set here, we will have regeneration one. So that is really, really, really awesome and exciting. But I will not be leaving with this. I don't know, can we enchant it? I actually don't know if we can enchant this or not. We actually can. All right, so that is something we need to do as well. But I won't be leaving with this. I want to equip it when we actually have a full set. I wonder, can we make an armor stand? I am not able to make an armor stand. All right, I, I, <laughs> I may expand my data pack once again, because that, that would be something cool that we could make. But anyways, guys, that's then gonna be it for this episode. We got some enchanting done, we got some infusion done as well, and we have half a set of crystallite armor, and we now have this very cool Termini pickaxe, which we actually can grindstone now, and use the grindstone on, and hopefully be able to get some silk touch. And hopefully, other the way, we can actually get some amber as well in the next episode. But anyways, that's gonna be it. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I hope to see you in the next one. As a quick reminder, you can find the mod pack that I use and the data packs that I use for this series on my website, binaryvigilante.com. But anyways, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye.